of all the years I've been watching anime, seen so many different shows, so many different stories, so many different characters, I never would have believed I would have watched an ice skating anime, and let alone be this entertained by an ice skating anime. Because it's one of those things that you just would think would be shit. I'm just, honestly, I'm just gonna say it. It's something you would think would be shit, but somehow, Yuri on Ice continues to impress me with each episode, especially with the development of our two characters. So, Yuri and Yurio, the main central focus of episode 3 of Yuri on Ice. And as we know, these two characters are going to be having a competition, and they had a competition in episode 3, and it was concluded. Now, talking about these two characters, they both have the same name, but they couldn't be any different. For instance, Yuri, our main character, he's someone that is very vulnerable. He's someone that is not confident in himself. He's undemanding. He's someone that doesn't exert himself out and let everybody know what he wants usually. He's just someone that just stays in the background. And then you have a character like Yurio. He's a character that's very demanding. He's someone that's outspoken and someone that lets you know what they want. He's confident in himself. The complete opposite of the type of character our MC is, Yuri. Even though they have the same names, they are very different. And they have very different things about them that make them stand out. And this episode focuses on that and showcases what makes these two so different and why they're so impressive when they decide to ice skate and what type of story they're trying to show. Now, personally, I don't know a whole lot about ice skating. I, I don't. I know it's a very big sport. Many love ice skating, and I'm not going to say that it isn't, but I don't know much about ice skating. And when I was watching this episode, I learned a lot about it, and it really surprised me with how when people ice skate, it's like they're trying to put on a play. It's like they're doing a story. And when I think about it, it actually makes sense. It's like an actual traditional play, except it's through ice skating. The way the character, the person, moves their body, they're representing their emotions, they're representing a story. And that's what these two characters are trying to do. Yurio and Yuri are trying to tell a story with their body movements, emotions that they display through the way they move. And I love the differences between these characters and the way it's shown throughout their play, and then also what they're thinking in their mind while they do it. So let's look at Yurio. So Yurio as a character, his main play he has to do is something that makes him vulnerable. He has to do a play that makes him completely different from what he's normally used to. As I said earlier on in this video, he's a type of character that's outspoken, confident in himself, and he lets everybody know what he wants he's assertive now the play he had to do with his ice skating it's completely different from what he would normally do it's something that he wouldn't really do because it's something that just doesn't fit his type of personality he has to show this you know vulnerable side to himself and so throughout the episode you had to where victor was putting him in a position where he had to figure out how he could display those emotions throughout his dance, his ice skating performance. And when he put him under the waterfall to be beat by, you know, water, it was in a way Victor telling him you need to meditate on what you need to do. Think about what makes you vulnerable. What is something that can inspire you to put emotions in your performance? And that's the big thing when it comes to stuff like that. Plays, voice acting, stuff like that. It's passion. The passion that drives you for what you do. That's a beautiful example. For instance, if someone has passion for something, they can put 100% more effort into the project. And so when you're doing a performance like ice skating and you're uh, kind of putting on a play, you need to have that passion in it to make it even better, go that extra mile. And so Victor was letting Yurio know you need to find that that little key, that, that, that passion that drives you and you can really connect with this song and connect with your performance. And so throughout the dance, when he figured out he was dancing for his grandpa, he realized that he wasn't dancing to the best of his abilities because he was thinking too hard on his dancing and, you know, the technical stuff of moving his body instead of actually putting his emotions into his body movements, which is a very realistic thing about people because here's the big thing. If you are good, like you're very good at dancing, or you have certain emotions that drive you to do certain things, if you start focusing on something and you just keep focused on that instead of focusing on something else, 
it will fuck with you and it will mess up everything. It's kind of like one of my favorite quotes I've seen in a manga series. If you stare too much at the branch, you won't see the tree. You stare too much at the tree, you won't see the forest. And that's kind of what happens. If you focus too much on a certain point, you will not see the other things you need to focus on. And so Yurio, as he was doing his performance, he didn't realize that he needs to kind of focus more on his emotional side. He didn't know how to implement that inside of his performance, but he was just too focused on the way he was moving throughout the uh, ring. So I like that performance, the way that was shown. It was a very good way to display character development for him and how he will progress through the series because, as I already stated, the performance he was doing was completely against his character. He's a type of character that's very assertive, and the song was trying to make him show this vulnerable side to himself that he normally would never show. And so because of this, it allows him to go through this growth, this development. And if he goes down the right path and he continues to try to do something like this, I could see him becoming a very good pro ice skater and a very good character with some great development in the future of Yuri on Ice. Now, speaking about Yuri as a character, his performance was on a way higher level than Yurio, and you would think that Yuri's performance would be a little bit lower for one reason alone, his motivation, and let me get into that. As I stated, Yurio's motivation, his emotional passion, his motivation was his grandpa, this uh, past, you know, flashback with his grandpa, but Yuri's motivation was food. Now, at first glance, when you think about this, it seems something rather stupid. It, it, it literally seems like something stupid. Like, why would someone put so much passion in food, and why would it drive you like that? That just sounds stupid. But, in reality, it makes a lot of sense, because one of the big things about human pleasure is eating. It, it is. I mean, you can't even deny that. Don't even try to deny it. As a human being, you cannot tell me there's some food you eat that you really are passionate about and love just chowing down into. For instance, me, I love mint ice cream. I fucking love mint ice cream. I love Reese's Cups. And when I see something like that and I can eat into it, I'm just passionate about it because it tastes so fucking good. And so, you can't tell me that you can't get passionate about food and really put in that extra motivation for something like that. Like, for instance, let's say you like pizza, and you're working for that pizza, there you go. And so when you think about it like that, Yuri's passion and what drove him to dance as well as he did in this episode, it sounds stupid on paper, but it actually makes sense. It's easier to dive into that, and if you think about the core concept of the song he was dancing to, it was sexual love. Now, the big thing about this is that Yurio's song was more about showing the softer side. While you had to wear Yuri, you had to show this more aggressive side to him. As I stated already, Yuri and Yurio have opposite personalities. Yuri's a type of character where he usually shows his vulnerable side, or he's someone that doesn't really know how to express himself or be demanding. And so with this song, he had to go out of character too, just like Yurio, and express himself in a way that's completely different that no one has ever seen him before. And so when he got passionate about food, it's something that really drove him, and it's one of the only things that really can make him continue to improve in his performance. And you, when you think about how people can, you know, be very happy or passionate about food, it fits the theme of the sexual love Eros that the song he was dancing to. So I do like the little core themes that this episode tried to do with the characters, especially what drove them to perform as well as they did. Now, talking about the outfit design, let's just talk about the design of of what Yuri had on. The outfit displayed two genders. It displayed male and female. It was genderless, or it was just, you know, both genders being displayed throughout Yuri's attire. The way he had his hair back, the way his outfit was, just everything. The way he, you know, moved his body, it was displaying male and female. His overall dancing style was like a female, while his outfit displayed male and female parts, and his hair with it, uh, kind of like a slick back was more of a male type style. So I love the display of the two genders throughout his dance when it went with his sexual love and displaying that type of song, those emotions it carried. And so, I gotta hand it. I gotta hand it to the animators for being able to do something like that. I gotta hand it to the artist and the writer in general to be able to display emotions like that and make it just so smart. It was such an intelligent way to write the song and the way he displayed his performance. So, yeah, job well done. Now, the only problem I see with this episode, to be honest, is probably some of the art. Not animation, remember. Now, I'm not talking about the movements of the characters. I'm talking about the art. Now, the art usually looks good, but there was some scenes 
scenes throughout the dancing, like, you know, the way the performance was done, to where the art looked off on the characters, like, some of the body movements looked, like, weird, like, the arms and stuff, like, the arms just looked weird shaped, or sometimes the faces looked weird, but besides that, the movement, like, the animation looked beautiful, it was on point, and I gotta say, when it comes to, a, like, an ice skating series, it probably is hella hard to animate this, I, I just... I mean, I'm not an animator. I've never personally animated before, so I don't know how hard it is, but I know it's probably a hard job. And having to animate something as complex as ice skating, that there's just so much movement going on, and to make it look good, I can't imagine how much effort has to be put into it. So, overall, animation was on point. Most likely, they sacrificed some of the art for the animation in this episode, and most likely, they're probably going to put even more effort into the art in the very, very important episodes in the future. So, overall, I'm not really disappointed with the episode. It was a very good episode when it came to that. So, Yuri on Ice, job well done. Now, talking about some comedy segments, there was some comedy throughout this episode and little scenes that really just made the emphasis of the episode so much better. Like, the Victor scene when he whistled at Yuri, and he's like, woo, you know, just that little whistle. It was enough, it was just enough there to add more, I guess, immersion to the scene, where you could realize that, like, that's what we're all thinking. When you saw Victor just whistle like that, we were all like, holy shit, this man's pretty good at what he's doing. So, I like that little emphasis right there with the whistle from Victor, and with some of the other comedy moments throughout the episode, like, oh my, his performance is so good, it can make a man pregnant. I got a good laugh with that one. And then there was just a bunch of other little scenes throughout the episode that made me laugh. So, overall, a very good episode. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Y'all have a wonderful day or nights wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.